Mistakes are something that humans tend to make very often. While some mistakes lead to newer inventions and discoveries, some of these lead to huge disasters that could have the potential of affecting the entire world, especially when made in the nuclear labs. But how could these mistakes affect the world? When has something like this happened? How can one stop it? Continue watching the video till the end to know more. Number 1. Tokimura, Japan 1999 It happened when a group of unqualified workers decided to put more highly enriched uranium in a precipitation tank than was permitted and hence the disaster struck. Two of the workers eventually died with another 56 plant workers being exposed to high levels of radiation. To make things much worse, 21 civilians were also exposed to high doses of this radiation and residents within a thousand feet of the plant were asked to evacuate. Number 2. Buenos Aires, 1983 Due to some operator's errors that happened during a fuel plate reconfiguration lead to him dying two days later. There was an excursion of around 3x10 fissions at the RA2 facility, with the operator absorbing 2,000 rad of gamma and 1,700 rad of neutron radiation. Another 17 people outside of the reactor room absorbed doses ranging from 35 rad to less than 1 rad. Number 3. St. Lawrence, France, 1969 on the 17th October, more than 50 kilograms of uranium in one of the gas-cooled reactors began to melt. This was classified as Level 4 on the Innis and to this day remains the most serious civil nuclear disaster in French history. Number 4. Idaho, USA 1961 January 1961, a USA Army experimental nuclear power reactor underwent a steam explosion and meltdown, killing its three operators. The cause of this was mostly because of improper removal of the control rod responsible for absorbing neutrons in the reactor core. This event is the only known fatal reactor accident in the USA. The accident released about 80 curies of iodine, minus 131. Number 5. The Guayana Accident, Brazil, 1987 On 13 September 1987, a radioactive contamination accident occurred in the Brazilian state of Goias. An old radiotherapy source was stolen from an abandoned hospital site in the city. Subsequently, it was handled by many people killing four people. 112,000 people were examined for radioactive contamination, with 249 having significant levels of radioactive material in or on their body. Number 6. Pennsylvania, USA, 1979 28th March saw two nuclear reactors melt down. Small amounts of radioactive gases and radioactive iodine were released into the environment. Luckily, epidemiology studies have not linked a single cancer with the accident. Number 7. Sellafield, UK, 1957 Ranked at number 5 on the Innes scale, the Wind Scale Fire. The two piles had been hurriedly built as part of the British Atomic Bomb Project. The first pile was active from October 1950, with the second close behind in June 1951. The accident occurred when the core of Unit 1's reactor caught fire, releasing substantial amounts of radioactive contamination into the surrounding area, causing 240 cancer cases. All of the milk from within, about 500 kilometers of nearby countryside, was diluted and destroyed for about a month. Number 8. Kishtim, Russia, 1957 It was measured as a level 6 disaster on the Innis, making it the third most serious nuclear disaster ever recorded behind the Chernobyl disaster and Fukushima Daiichi disaster. The event occurred in the town of Ozyorsk, a closed city built around the Mayak plant again due to radiation contamination. Number 9. Fukushima, Japan, 2011 the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear disaster was a series of equipment failures, nuclear meltdowns and releases of radioactive materials at the Fukushima nuclear power plant following the Tohoku tsunami on 11 March 2011 measured to be level 7 on Enes. And lastly, Chernobyl, Ukraine, 1986. The Chernobyl nuclear disaster is widely considered to have been the worst power plant accident in history. The battle to contain the contamination and avert a greater catastrophe ultimately involved over 500,000 workers and cost an estimated 18 billion rubles. The official Soviet casualty count of 31 deaths has been disputed and long-term effects such as cancers and deformities are still being accounted for. Did we miss out on anything? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. We would love to get to know your perspective on this matter. Let's discuss these in yet another video, so stay tuned. Well, that's it for today's video. We hope you enjoyed watching it. If you liked the video, then do make sure to smash the like button and hit the subscribe button too. Don't forget to press the bell icon to never miss another update from our channel. With that being said, let's meet in another one of such awesome videos. Until then, see ya!